to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. In this video, I'm doing a recipe spread for, um, well, this is in my Happy Planner <laughs> recipe book. And um, for this week, I'm going to do something. Um, I, I noticed in my recipe book that I did not have any recipes in the slow cooker section. Like, um, there are different tabs. So, like, the tabs are family favorites, main dishes. This one, I forgot what it was, but I put a box over top of it and put holiday inspired. And that's where I put all my, like, holiday recipes. And then there's a slow cooker section. And I literally have no recipes in this section. And I have a crock pot or an Instapot or a one pot or, or whatever it is. Um, so... I have the ability to do slow cooking. I just don't have any recipes in my planner. So I'm going to put one, um, I'm gonna do a recipe for that section and probably gonna be doing a couple of them here in the next little bit. But for this one is crock pot cheesy chicken, cheesy chicken broccoli soup, excuse me. Um, I saw this online and it looked like something that we would um, definitely eat. And then here's the picture. So um, I got all that. Now, uh, what do I want to write the recipe? I think I'm gonna take this green marker right here and write the recipe at the top. And I could have wrote that so much better. Every time I write my recipes, I say that because I'm never satisfied with the way it looks. Um, Okay, so I have this little tiny sticker that says slow cooker on it. And I'm gonna put that right up here. And I got a little crock pot icon that I found somewhere. And I'm gonna put it down here. I probably shouldn't have put these down yet because I don't know um, where everything's gonna land yet. So. I'm gonna fill out the side here. It says serves six. Uh, main ingredients, I'm gonna say is probably chicken. And broccoli. We eat a lot of broccoli, I've noticed that. Like I've done a lot. I don't know what the heck my dog's barking at. Uh, there's like nobody outside. Anyway, um, I've noticed that we do, I've done a lot of broccoli recipes and we eat a lot of broccoli. I'm not for sure the difficulty level on this, so I'm just going to put it to prep time, 30 minutes, total time, seven hours. Hmm. I'm going I'm to look for here. Look, I'm going to skim through here for the cook time. So it says five to six hours. Uh, 30 minutes more. Okay. So I'm going to put five and a half to six and a half hours. Temperature low okay now um for the stickers here i have this little foodie sticker pack it's like one of those and i've got like mostly icons maybe a little bit of quotes i'm not for sure if i'm gonna pull anything out of the, this but i've got it here just in case and then i have the southern farmhouse and i'm gonna do something a little different i got the botanicals sticker book and I used to put florals in my recipes quite often, and I've stopped doing it for some reason. So um, I'm gonna use like these black and white florals, maybe a couple of these gold floral, gold foiled florals, and probably some of these boxes in here. I have not used the sticker book in forever, so I'm going to. Um, use it in this recipe spread. But for now, I'm going to get these ingredients down. Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to write ingredients right here. Okay, let's see how many ingredients there are. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Huh, this might be a two pager. Hmm. Which kind of messes things up because. This is on this side. I would need, if I have a two page recipe, I would like them to lay, you know, like this in the planner. So this would be the second page and I've already wrote ingredients right here, which I can, oops, I can take this off and move it to the other side. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to pull another page out, because that's, that's a lot of ingredients, and it's going to take up a lot of room, so I might as well go ahead and um, just make a second page. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to write the recipe up here again. Okay. So there's that, and then I'm gonna fill out the side here. Six. Chicken. Broccoli. Two. 30 minutes. Five and a half to six and a half hours. Low, all right. Now, I'm just gonna put the ingredient sticker. Right there. And I'll have to wipe this out. Okay. Now. I need a lot of dot stickers or something for all of these ingredients. So I'm just gonna start grabbing bullet points out of here. One. I don't know what colors. I mean, I guess I can use all of them or any of them, let's see. Use those four. So it says laughter is loudest where friends are gathered. I put that there. That makes it look like it's separating the two, though. I don't know if I like that or not. I'm gonna lay this box down right here. And put this ingredient box over top where it says shopping and leave list underneath it. I need, I wanna hide that um, white out spot though. Let me find something to cover that up with. I'm gonna lay this floral sticker down right here and trim around this box. Now I'm gonna write the ingredients in this long box right here. 
Okay, I got all the ingredients written down here, and I think I'm going to take this little leaf and lay it right right there to hide the rest of that white out behind that one flower. Now watch this ingredients box, and it's not going to stay down because I lifted it up so much. Oh, well. Okay, so I've got all the ingredients written down right here. Now I can start writing down the steps. I'm gonna put this decorative box that says around the table down here. Well, hang on. I'm gonna put it down straighter. There we go. It was really crooked. Okay. This little circle sticker says Bon Appetit. I'm gonna put it right there. This sticker right here says All in Good Taste. I'm gonna put that right there. Since this is gonna be a two pager, I have enough room to decorate more. I'm gonna put this full box sticker right here. This is another sticker like this one. So I'm going to lay it right there and I'm gonna write directions. And I think I wish I had like little small circle stickers or something in this book. Oh. Look, there's a little crock pot sticker. I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, anyway. So I think I'm gonna go in here to my alphabet sticker book like the really old one, very first one. And I'm gonna grab me a number one. That way, this is like first step. And now I'm gonna start writing steps in, in here. All right, so th this is the end of the first step. So, and I still have some of the box left over to keep it from looking like I have empty box at the bottom. I'm going to take this. And trim it off. Okay. I think I'm gonna take the scrap piece of this flower. And put it right here. Okay, now I'm gonna find another box for the second step, which I'll just use this one. layer it right there go back in here to these numbers grab a number two and put it right there okay now now I'm gonna write the second one okay same thing I'm gonna trim this box This says dream big. I could put it down. So these little floral pieces are in circles. 
I can like put it down and trim around it like it's put around this box. I'll have some scrap left over that I can't use because um, the cut is a little weird, but um, that's okay. I don't like how that ends just right there. Let me find, let me see if I can find like a quote box or something to put there. This says gather with grateful hearts. I'm gonna put that right there. All right, now I'm gonna move to this page. Why not where it says preparation there fix that white out and I pulled out this double box earlier I said that I could probably use it for some of these so I said I was gonna have to trim it um, I'm gonna lay this I'm gonna lightly lay it down so I can take this like square and trim this off at the top. Now I'm gonna grab another number. I only have one more three left in this font style of numbers. I'll put that put it right there. All right. Now I'm gonna write the next step on here. Okay. I'm not gonna cut off the bottom of that bowl. I'm just gonna leave, or er, bowl. I said bowl because I just wrote the word bowl. I'm not gonna cut off the bottom of that um, box. I'm just gonna leave it. Okay. I'm going to take this box right here. I could put it right there. number four right there okay next one okay I should have looked at this the fourth step before picking out a box for it and but this box wasn't big enough so I had to add another box so what I did was just put it down here at the bottom of it and then drew a little um, arrow uh, the next two are look pretty small so I think I'm just gonna combine them together Unless they can't fit in this box, and then I'll have to put another one down. But I'm going to lay that here. Get my number five. All right. Okay, so they both did fit in that box. All right. Now, I'm going to lay my picture down. So there's that. Now, oh, I got out this quote because it has those florals in it. thinking I probably should move this box up a little bit so I can fit that quote there
Okay. Now I can fit this right there. And I had this down on this page earlier <laughs> before I decided to do the two pages. So I'm gonna find somewhere to put this back down. So it's laughter is loudest where friends are gathered. I could put it right here. Okay. Now we got some more of these florals that are like a little curved. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll lay this. Actually, I don't have to trim it if I lift up this corner. There we go. Okay. I have this one. You just lay right there. I really do want to use up these rounded ones though. I mean, they go around boxes, you know. I'm guessing that was, you know, the idea of them whenever these type of stickers came out. And I have like, I don't know, a half a page of them left. So why not? Use them up. Okay. I'm going to cut this along, along here. Whoops. Oh, that's so cute. And let's see, where can I put the scrap? Just gonna lay this one right here at the bottom you know what I think I think that might be all I'm gonna do you know what I have these no um yeah I think that might be it for this recipe um I'm, I'm glad I did a two page I could like not cram everything all into one page and it would be like all crammed together and then I wouldn't have any room to decorate it. Um, so yeah, and I have not used florals in my recipe spreads in a while. So I'm glad that I decided to do that today. So I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please hit the like button and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I hope to see you guys on the next video. Bye.